welcome back to Duke Ascopi TV for Monday's Targets and Focus. I'm joined by Geoffrey Yu from UBS in London to have a look at some G10 news focusing on the dollar yen, Aussie dollar and euro pound. Now the US dollar rose to six month highs against its Japanese counterpart today. Many have been selling the yen but the US agreement with Iran really sent investors dropping the Asian safe haven and buying the greenback. Now, Jeffrey, can you tell us more about the market movements we are witnessing and what sort of impact does this have on your short, mid and long term targets? Uh, well, on uh, Friday, we've already adjusted uh, our forecast for dollar yen higher. Uh, we're now looking at a move uh, on a three month horizon towards 105 and uh, over the next 12 months um, towards 110. Um, though on a marginal basis, um, you know, maybe the agreement over Iran uh, over the weekend um, has helped risk in general. Uh, we think dollar yen will still be driven by tapering expectations. Of, so if we still have a good run of data uh, and a good retail sales season in the US um, upon Thanksgiving, uh, then it's highly possible that the Fed will announce a tapering in the next two meeting cycles, and that's going to give the yen a good deal of support. Even if the Fed um, chooses um, to hold back, um, they will probably act in March, uh, and that would also be supportive for our three-month forecast. Um, we're still looking at 103 in one month, uh, 105 uh, in uh, three months, and uh, 110 over 12 months. And the Australian dollar fell to a one and a half month low today. There is the possibility of a fresh rate cut by the RBA. Now, are you expecting this cut and are you feeling bearish for the Aussie against the US dollar? Uh, well, right now, uh, we uh, do think that the Australian dollar is going to continue uh, to struggle, uh, though uh, as far as uh, we're concerned, uh, they're not going to cut rates uh, in the immediate future. We just think uh, it's a bit too early for that. However, they probably will remain um, on hold uh, and also keep an easing bias. Uh, so we have also downgraded our uh, forecast uh, for the Australian dollar. Uh, we now look um, for them to trade, well, we now look for Aussie dollar to trade to 92 in one month and to 90 in three months, down from 95 and 93 previously, uh, and um, for the pair to head towards 85 over a 12-month view. So significant downside up ahead. But again, it would largely be driven by tapering expectations in the US. Um, dovishness in the RBA has pretty much been baked in. And Jeffrey, just wrapping things up, is there any other pair you are following right now? And just tell us a little bit about it. Uh, well, right now, uh, we are still quite interested um, in sterling. So uh, even though uh, the Bank of England, uh, a bit like the Federal Reserve, has said that we should not expect um, interest rate hikes um, in the immediate uh, future, uh, we are looking at a potential move towards the second half of 2015. If you compare that to the ECB, for example, it's rather aggressive uh, and strong data has basically um, led the recovery in cable uh, from 159 towards um, 161.70. Overall, though, our favorite trade on this one is still to be short euro sterling. We think their scope um, over the next 12 months and for this to fall to 80, uh, if not lower, and all will depend on the BOE outlook and its response um, to stronger data prints. Well, right now, um, over one month and three months, uh, we still expect um, euro sterling to be stable at around 84 or so, but over a 12-month view towards 81, if not lower. Jeffrey, thank you very much. It was a real pleasure. Well, viewers, do stay tuned as we have plenty more coming up on the show, so see you soon.